In today's demo, we're going to focus in on an Istio service mesh bridged between two different clusters running in two different locations. Uh, we have a cluster running uh, Anthos on VMware and a cluster running uh, GKE in, uh, in GCP. Uh, first thing we'll notice when we click in the on-premise cluster is the presence of all the information that you would typically see within a GKE cluster. So we can see all the node details, um, we can see uh, things related to CPU allocation, memory allocation, storage, um, a full set of details that we would expect to see available in our GKE clusters. And when we click into our GKE cluster, we see um, you know, a similar set of details, um, obviously with some differences based off it being a cloud-based uh, offer. Um, the node details look a little bit different, but essentially the same sort of information present. And uh, you know, the whole idea here is the, the availability of uh, information seamlessly between uh, multiple clusters, regardless of where they're located. Our cluster is running uh, the Hipster Shop application, which uh, you know is a, a demonstration um, application, a little bit better than a Hello World, kind of showcasing microservices between uh, a, a, a variety of services that are required to run this app. So we can order stuff, um, place orders. We can um, we can browse further details. We'll see as we're placing an order here. We've got an order confirmation. We've got a shipping ID. Uh, all of the the calculations in terms of costing and that sort of stuff. We can change uh, currency as well. So we can change this over to Canadian, um, and we can see all the pricing updated to reflect. So we can kind of see that uh, you know all the services within the cluster are working or within the application are working, uh, including being able to place a, a, a fake order essentially. Um, and this kind of proves out that the you know the microservices are working between all the various components of the Hipster Store app, uh, which you know is sort of a, a crucial detail in terms of understanding how the services tie into each other, uh, especially as we get into. Uh, you know, later into this demo where we see the actual cluster running uh, various services uh, and not full stack uh, of services. Um, and we'll bridge that across this uh, this Istio service mesh. So in this case, we're, we're having a look at workload detail in, in GCP. And the workload detail is going to show us uh, any of the applications that are running on our clusters that are registered to our project in GCP. In this case, we're going to filter this down to only our uh, on-premise cluster. And so we can see in our hipster store namespace in the, uh, the on-premise cluster is running a full set of services. So front-end services, uh, email services, checkout cart service, uh, the full set of services required to run the hipster store app um, and basically make the, the application work. One of the things that we can do with Istio is visualize our mesh uh, and we can do that in open source Istio through a project called Kiali and this particular project allows us to visualize our mesh. It allows us to see um, you know an, an animation as you can see here that shows uh, traffic flows, it shows um, statistics and, and telemetry around what's happening between microservices and this is an important part of the service mesh in general uh, as it gives us this visibility. In addition to that, we've got a, a Grafana and Prometheus stack set up that, that gets uh, installed along with our Istio deployment that essentially sends the telemetry detail into Pr Prometheus and uh, is visualized here through Grafana. So we can see you know, exactly how much traffic is hitting the various components of our microservices application. So we don't have to worry about guesswork. We, we've got full visibility into kind of what's happening. If we head back into CLI and have a look at the actual pods that are running as a part of our Hipster Store app, the first thing that we'll notice here is symmetry along with what was shown in the uh, GCP console. Uh, and the idea is, is this is you know essentially showing the same details the full Hipster Store application. Now we're going to show our remote cluster. We've classified this as a remote cluster because our remote cluster only runs a subset of the services for Hipster Store. In our case, our remote cluster is only actually running the front end service. And the idea behind this demo and, and what's in this blog post is the ability for that front end service to make its way back through the Istio service mesh to the on-prem cluster um, for the rest of the services. So we can see here the full Istio stack is installed, including the gateway, galley, citadel, pilot uh, and the idea is is this on-premise cluster is running our full Istio service mesh all of the, the required components to make Istio work on our remote side the difference being here is our Istio stack is a much slimmer Istio stack so this particular cluster now connects back to the on-premise cluster for all of its critical services regarding you know Istio pilot and mixer and the ability to actually drive traffic so effectively this is a, a, a secondary cluster in the mesh 
um, but all part of the same mesh and that's the important part so effectively we're able to get traffic through the mesh um, regardless of what cluster it's sitting on um, and allowing Istio and Istio Pilot to handle that. So effectively our front-end service in the secondary cluster can connect back to currency service, email service, and all the other services related to the Hipster Store app. And one of the things that we're going to do here is apply a traffic pattern. So we're going to apply a, a traffic pattern here called 50-50. And what we're doing is we're now telling Istio to drive half of our traffic to the remote side of the cluster. And so what this is doing now is sending half of our traffic to the remote front end through the Istio mesh. And that remote front end is retrieving the rest of the services or connecting to the rest of the services through the service mesh. So as we start to browse, we can see that roughly about 50% of our traffic is now going to hit the standard hipster store front end versus the other 50% hitting what we've designated as a remote cluster. And we've done this just through a, a different image tag that's deployed in that uh, that secondary cluster. And that, that uh, particular image has a different banner and you know more just to kind of showcase that we're hitting a different cluster. But effectively, everything else works. We're hitting the same set of services in the back end in our on-premise cluster and uh, we, we don't have any uh, difference in terms of experience. Now if we apply a different traffic pattern that now says we want to send all of our traffic to the remote side of the cluster. This is done through a virtual service edit inside of Istio. So now Istio Pilot is told to route 100% of the traffic to our remote uh, image or remote cluster. Um, so from a traffic pattern perspective, now we're hitting entirely the remote cluster. We're routing everything else back into our on-premise cluster, uh, but effectively just hitting the one front end. Um, this is an important part of how Istio functions in terms of being able to drive traffic effectively. Now we're going to switch this back to local only uh, to kind of demonstrate how quickly Istio Pilot responds to this. And now so Istio is told to route all of our traffic now back to the on-premise cluster, sort of showcasing what, um, you know, what scale could look like in terms of, you know, preparing for a Black Friday event or whatever the case is when you know extra traffic is coming, being able to apply extra um, resources and capabilities through multiple clusters.